So, work this week was the literal worst. You deserve to kick back with a glass of Merlot. Or maybe you'd rather hit the club for a drink or two with friends to blow off some steam. Nothing wrong with that either. Even doctors say a glass of red wine a day is excellent for your health. The problem creeps in when you start becoming dependent on alcohol, which could quickly become a dangerous addiction and be very difficult to overcome. So here are some warning signs your drinking is starting to get out of hand. We're good streaking! Booze is hashtag bay. Can't imagine a weekend or even a day without alcohol? That may be a warning sign. In fact, feeling that every activity has to include drinks could be a sign you've become dependent on booze. Having one drink each day can be good for your health, but chugging a week's worth of glasses in a single sitting destroys every single benefit alcohol can offer. Binge drinking is particularly dangerous because it raises blood pressure and interferes with certain medications. The dark side of binge drinking also includes alcohol poisoning, accidental injury, sexual dysfunction, and liver damage. But where's the pre-party at? Liquid Courage with a little alcohol in your system, do you feel like the life of the party? Are you suddenly the sexiest, prettiest, most intelligent, and funniest person around? Watch out! You might be looking at yourself through your own beer goggles. I'm excited and I feel relaxed and I'm ready to party! There's even a little science that backs up the notion that alcohol boosts confidence. Researchers conducted an experiment at a bar, asking 19 people to assess their attractiveness on a scale of 1 to 7 after drinking some booze. Their alcohol levels were then measured, and the results were pretty interesting. The higher their blood alcohol content, the higher their reported self-confidence. Alcohol. Sadly, this liquid courage can be quickly replaced with hashtag shame at your unpretty, unfunny, very drunk behavior. Need a little hair of the dog? Forget about it. One sure sign that your drinking is becoming a problem is you shirk your usual responsibilities at work or home. I've got a hangover. Who knows what that means? Doesn't that mean you're drunk? No. It means I was drunk yesterday. Do you call in sick repeatedly because of hangovers? Do you find yourself putting things off because you'd rather have a drink instead of doing the laundry or finishing a project? What's everybody thinking for dinner? We just ate breakfast. Maybe you're distracted at work because all you can think about is that martini at the end of the day. If any of these sound familiar, you've got a problem. Friend zone. When your relationships become affected by your drinking, that's a huge problem. Have those closest to you commented on your drinking or voiced concerns that something is just not right with you? Or do you find yourself avoiding friends or family to dodge any confrontations? Maybe you think you've got it all under control and those people just didn't understand the difficult stuff you're going through. Do you find that you hide your drinking so no one knows just how much you're consuming? While you might not be an alcoholic, drinking alone is certainly a red flag. Doses plus mimosas. Is your drinking tied to your emotions? Do cocktails make you feel better when you're down? Do you drink to avoid facing the difficulties of life or a traumatic experience? If so, you're self-medicating, and this is never healthy. Doses and mimosas, champagne and cocaine, how to get me one study even found self-medicating to be the coping mechanism of choice for many suffering from PTSD. If you reach for a drink when you start feeling down, it may be time to unpack the real issues behind your feelings instead of covering them up. Never drink to feel better. Only drink to feel even better. That's fantastic. Raising the bar. If you've got a problem with alcohol, you may need more and more to get that warm, fuzzy feeling again. That's because your body and your brain have developed a tolerance. As this tolerance increases, you may soon fall into dependency and eventually full-blown alcoholism. Other organs in your body adapt to high alcohol consumption as well. When you drink a lot on a regular basis, your liver adapts by producing greater amounts of the enzymes needed to break down the alcohol more rapidly, compared to what it does in people who rarely drink. The liver actually becomes more efficient at metabolizing alcohol, so you need more to get the same effect. Shots, 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 shots.
If you don't get your drinking in check, the only way you'll feel normal will be when you have those high levels of alcohol in your system. You've crossed the line where alcohol is fun. In fact, you completely stop feeling any buzz at this point. Get real. Hey, you may not have a problem with alcohol and can enjoy a glass of wine now and then. Awesome! You are also reaping the health benefits of moderate drinking. Cheers! But be careful that you're not lying to yourself. I had no idea you could get drunk on mouthwash. If you're experiencing any of the warning signs, it may be time to bail on the booze and enjoy a different way of living. Think about it. Giving up alcohol may be the best decision of your life. Thanks for watching! Click the list icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out this other cool stuff we know you'll love too!